I like to come up with different reasons, different excuses why I can't save money. But the real reason is I can save a lot of money, but why don't I? That is the question. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. There's this guy. His name is Theodore Johnson. Theodore Johnson. Now, I don't know if he's still living, but a story was made on him because he accumulated in his lifetime $70 million. He worked for UPS and he saved 20% of his paycheck, every paycheck, and also he invested in his company's stock. So let's kind of let's kind of just backtrack a little bit. So let's understand this. He made fourteen thousand a year. So we know this is a really old story. He made fourteen thousand a year. He invested inside of his company UPS, and also he saved twenty percent of every check. And up until the age of ninety, by the age of ninety, he accumulated seventy million dollars. You're like, well, if I I gotta live to be 90 in order to get that amount of money? Well, no, okay? Well, no, do the math on it. If you can save 30% or 40% and also invest inside your company stock, then you can achieve millions quicker than he did. But look how much money he was making. Now, I don't know the type of lifestyle. I'm pretty sure it was real minimum. He didn't really live above his means. He probably lived well below his means. And what is that saying to you? Those nights you want to catch drinks with the fellas, those nights you want to go get cute cocktails with the girls, then maybe you shouldn't. Maybe y'all should buy a bottle and make those cute drinks at home. Maybe get some popcorn, microwavable, instead of going to the movies and watching a movie. I'm just saying, if he can do it, making $14,000 a year and accumulate $70 million up until the age of 90, working for UPS and also investing in stock, that means you can do it too. Why can't you do that? Now, granted, the times are different. Inflate, inflation has ballooned up. But nevertheless, you can invest your money inside your company. And some of them match point, you know, oh, up to 5% or 6%. You know, they let you buy into the company's stock. But why can't you save 20% 25% of your check. Now, some of you will say, well, I got bills, I got obligations, I got people to take care of, etc. Now, I want you to comb through. I want you to weed through all your expenses and check how many are bills. Now, some of you are saying, well, I got to watch live TV. I got to watch it. But I promise you, if you did the whole Netflix and Hulu thing, which is what, 16 bucks a month, you probably just saved anywhere from 100 something dollars, okay? Yeah, you need internet, so uh, when you tie it all up together, let's say you get regular internet, let's see, that's about 50 or 60 bucks, we'll go with 50. No, we'll go with 60, we'll go with a higher number. I, I'm, I'm gonna stay real with you. We'll go with 60, then we'll do Netflix, and I, last time I had Netflix, it was like eight bucks, so we had 58 dollars. And you say, well, Netflix only does movies, so now Hulu does those regular TV shows. So now we got 16. Now we're up to uh, $76. No, is that $76? Yeah, we're up to about $76. Now, if you get internet and you get cable television, you're going to pay usually around $120, around $120. Now, some of you will get on promotions. You'll get free this and free that and free this and free that. We either be from Comcast, uh, DirecTV, The Dish, all these cable providers that's out there, Cox Cable, Time Warner, blah, 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 right? So after that promotion ends, most of us are now uh, uh, experienced enough to call back and say, hey, I'm going to counsel. So the amount goes back to the promotion. But nevertheless, there's easier ways to cut costs. Now, granted, if you're paying the $100 a year for Amazon, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Video has more videos than Netflix. They have more videos than Netflix, so that's something to look into. But I just want to give you this quick story just for you to think about that. So let's break it down. Theodore Johnson, 
I want to say lived up to be 90 years old. In that time frame, he saved 20% of his check and invested in a UPS stock. Now, I don't know the ratio. I don't know the amount of how much he invested, but we know he lived well below his means. And in that time frame, he accumulated $70 million. So food for thought on saving and investing, because he did invest inside of his company stock. So Ross World, this is the time where you turn it up and you stop making excuses because he died a millionaire and he probably left a lot of money to his family. But I want you to be a millionaire now. Like I want to be a millionaire now. <laughs> That way we can enjoy the good life and still leave an inheritance for our kids and their kids if we're so lucky, if we're so smart. So Ross World, this is a basic story to let you know it's possible with the paycheck you now have. I'm out.